Oh my god, I can't. It's not the police, your boyfriend's more worried about it. Now, do you want to start putting tents up? Yep. The site's locked, so nobody can get on there and this door lets them in. So that's, which one's that one? That's mine. Did I? Yeah. Oh, Do you well. want to get on then? Come on, Johnny. Yeah, 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 send it. Yeah, move your hands. Be warm. Oh, be, uh... no. Do you want to come around this side for me? Are we all uh, latching there? We're just okay. naming it. A little bit closer in. This way. Come on. That's it. A bit more, a bit more. And across that way a little bit. Okay. Just hold your hands out. Just... There we go, that's fine. Look at you. Yes, come over with you, Eddie. No, we'll What's the history of this bit of ground here? Because it obviously had... It was, it was cancellation. That's some really horrible oh, butterfly cool. shaped blocks on the nail. Oh, Mason I remember those. Yeah, 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 I do. Uh, massive problems with prostitution. Ah, oh, that's right. Uh, I knocked them all down three, four, well, three, four, five years ago. Uh, and it's been left empty ever since. Oh. Uh, the, we, we, the reason we got on the site is because that gap there was actually made by contractors putting up um, the sale signs. That what, sorry? That gap in the fence where oh, we've I come see. on was actually made by the contractors putting for sale signs up uh -huh. and then they took them down again. Um, as far as we know, it hasn't been marked since, so we don't no. know. We, we, we are fairly How long sure. ago was that? Oh, a batch of months, a couple of three oh, months ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So as far as we're concerned, it's still owned by the City Council. Mm -hmm. um, the argument is it's been left empty for five and years. And it's a peaceful yeah. demonstration oh, just to yeah, draw yeah. the attention yeah, yeah. to the, uh, yeah. the uh, iniquity of things. Yeah. What's your name, please? Steve Austin. 
A-U-S-T-I-N. Spokesperson. Yeah, please not lead it or anything like that, because I hate it. It's, we don't work that No, way. no, you're all right. I should put spokesperson. <laughs> Mind you, what actually goes Good in the morning, papers. Good morning, Adrian, there. Baby on the way, I mean, how important is it that you get a counsel? Very, very. I don't want to go into one with a baby hostel. I've been in two now, so I don't want to go into another one with a. And I don't want to bring my child up in a hostel. It's not a nice um, atmosphere. It's, I just don't want to do that. Yeah, and I mean, obviously, you're looking for a council house now, yeah? And how long? You've been looking for two years? Two years now, yeah. And you still heard nothing from Absolutely person. nothing. I heard from them once, had an interview, uh, and all they told me then was they were processing my form, and since then I haven't heard anything. I mean, how important, like, obviously, Steve said that there's 30,000 people on the yeah. list. I mean, it's such an imperative thing that they get on and start doing something, isn't it? For yeah. People like yourself. Yeah, and they just don't, they just seem to drop us off the system. The way they see it is we've got a roof over our heads if we're in hostels. They don't see it as we need to get a property. That is why we are in hostels. Am I in your way? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Um, they just see us, um, as long as we've, we're in a hostel, we're okay, they can just leave us. And to me, that's just not good enough. They need to help us. I mean, there's, look, how, look at this land, for example, they could build on this, and yet they don't. So that's, yeah. that's how I see it. They should help us, and they don't. Where's Danny gone? It's the... Uh, um, they want us to leave, we're squatting illegally and they want us to move off before Monday uh, otherwise they, uh, they, they proceed with court action so of course we're now going to stay till Monday can make them proceed with court action and why? Because we can so, um, But court action can take like three months well, Yeah exactly, so you know, we could be here for Christmas I mean we don't want to be I mean, I, last night was enough for me one, one one session was enough for me last night. I'm going to all for this nonsense. But, uh, if, if they if they won't talk to us, then we'll just stay. Um, was, there's been so much support here today. It's been amazing. So many different groups have come down. So many people are talking to us. So uh, all we've got to do now is try and make John Lyons. Um, all we've got to do is try and make John Lyons is talk, talk to us, or at least Mike would be talk to us. And you had no response from John Lyons though, none. Well, Lee, Lee did a, a live interview at uh, tea time with Radio WM, and they put John Lyons on first, and basically were saying that uh, we're terrible because we're stopping the development of 50 new homes. Um, what he didn't tell anybody was that most of them are private. Uh, there's a couple of uh, rented properties, which are the ones actually being built over behind you, uh, and we think that most of, if not all of this, is private sale. It'll be privately sold properties, so we're going to get no rented on this piece of land at all anyway. Um, so, and he, he keeps just saying that we're we building, we're looking after the people, we're building, we're looking after the people, and we keep on saying, well, you're not, you're not. So, somebody's got to give, and we're stopping for the duration, so. So, what's your story? Hmm? What's your story? You, you've been, how long have you been in Birmingham? Or? Uh, I've been in Birmingham for like, about a, um, I'll say about a year and three quarters. And all I've seen in Birmingham is misery and suffering. And I'm telling the truth, I'm here because of my choice. Not because of my choice, but because of reasons beyond my personal control. If I could control it, trust me, I would give a house to everybody. If I would give the room to do that, I would do that. Because myself, I grew up in care. I grew up as an orphan in, in an orphanage home in Africa. If I came here in Zimbabwe, you see, so when I, in Zimbabwe, we, I used to watch on tele, and I, I used to see, they used to, on tele, all you see England in, in Zimbabwe is good and some dreams coming true or some, I would say, a talent being supported, you know. But when I came over here, I, I saw something different. To try to explain it over the phone to people up there, they can't believe it. They can't believe I'm here on the fire here. They think I'm living love. I've got two kids in Zimbabwe. I've got 13 twins. I can't even send them a pen when I'm sitting here for a shoe or for food to eat. I can't, man.
Uh, the City Council have taken us to the court today uh, to get possession of their property back. Is that with immediate effect? We don't know. We're, we're hoping that the, uh, the judge will uh, give us time to clear the land. Right. Uh, we've got several tents down there, we've got several homeless people down there that we need time to rehouse. We've tried to rehouse them through the shelter organisation and failed. Right. Um, so obviously we, we could be dark by the time we get back as well. So moving all the equipment off the land is going to be difficult tonight. So we're hoping for a few days. I mean, <coughs> is what you're doing actually breaking the law or are you, are you within your right to do what you're doing? taking sort of possession of that site for one of a better way of putting it. It's civil trespass, it's not a criminal matter, which is why the police have been proud to do anything about it. Um, in, in the papers, uh, it said that, in the court papers, it said that we've broken into the site, we haven't, there was two gaps in the fence and there has been an awful lot of time and we just walked onto the site. Uh, therefore, it's a civil trespass, no criminal action has been taken uh, and all they can do is remove us to the civil court, which is why we're here today. Okay. I mean, the last few days, and today in particular, has been quite wet. I mean, what have the conditions been like there for the people that have had to stay there? We've had a mixture of conditions. We've had some very wet weather, which has caused us some problems. Uh, obviously, very cold weather. Uh, it's quite difficult trying to get some sleep at night when it's minus three or four degrees, but we've got through that. Um, well, hopefully, we'll have a, a nice few days uh, if we can get to have a bit of time to stay there. We'll get a nice few days to get the tents all packed up and put them out. I mean, the people who are living in the local community, I mean, have they given you their support, any help, like cups of tea, food, things like that? The support we've had has been absolutely overwhelming, um, and I cannot thank people enough. Uh, the amount of food that has been brought down, firewood, tea, coffee, um, all of that sort of stuff, people popping in for a chat, people popping in to give advice, um, all sorts of organisations, the parties, members, uh, like chance for defence council housing. Um, people involved with housing cars, uh, the number of people have been absolutely overwhelming and it just shows that the support is for what we're doing and it's very much against what the council are doing. Hello, how are you doing? I'm alright. Did you walk you. up? Did you walk up from here? We did, yeah, yeah, we walked up. Oh, walked up with the banner and we got the banner out of, just up by um, the library. Oh right, okay. Just by the council house for a bit. And now we just come here to the area and it's all best Did you get any sleep last night? No, because I was doing security. I'm saying not. Yeah. How about you? I'm, I'm age 70 yeah. and I'm a pensioner and I've been in dangerous properties. I've had my necessity benefits stopped. I've had my furniture stolen by the National Health and the Council, no infantry. I've had breach of housing with Aylesbury Council, dangerous properties. Went to one in Scotland and it was up for sale the day I arrived. And I haven't been housed on properly on overriding medical priority. I'm in a bungalow and I can't get the mobility scooter out of the bungalow. Um, I'm severely disabled. I have um, a lack of oxygen in the legs called intermittent claudification. And I can have amputation. And um, I was mugged on the 16th of May. And the council asked me for £140 to change the window and the door locks when the police had told them to change it. I've been harassed. I've got, I've had eight years of dangerous properties, live wires, left in the street six times, and I'm age 70. And medical the, priority. Went to the police station once, says, where can I stop? And she says, you, and the police said to her, a 70 year old, this is vulnerable, ill, diabetic, um, I can you sleep. can sleep on the steps and she had to for two at, days. At the police station. You slept on the steps. I've got a lot of papers old. here. Do you think the council will, will sort of give way at all or do you think they're going to stick to the guns? I think ultimately the council will give way. Um, we know that we've got overwhelming support from the community. Um, we know there's 30 days on the waiting list, we know the grant money is there, we know the housing association wants to build, we know the councils are allowed to build, uh, and in the end the council will have to be away. It's just a matter of time.
Well, how I spoke to Harry Tor, who was the, the guy, and he said if I were you, I'd clear out by Monday or Tuesday. Yeah, we'll be done by Sunday when it's been released. <laughs> Mark said it's instant. No, it's not. The, the possession is instant. And we always knew a No, bit us getting off the side, that's clattered. It's not easy. The plan that we're not so even... The plan that we're not even... The plan that we're not even... Yes. Yeah, it's, 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 yeah, it's, it's, the, the judge just decided, well, it, it covers the piece we're on, so it's, it's not okay, really relevant, it's, it's challengeable in my opinion, but it's just not necessary, not necessarily worth it. So what, we don't need to occupy this land today, do we, the new land, so I don't need to phone Keith. Um, you want, we'll phone BBC, we can do what we set out to do in BBC. Now, the, the bit of technical advice, friendly advice, be gone by Monday because the bailiffs are coming Tuesday, we'll get the warrant Monday, the bailiffs will come Tuesday. So I think, go Monday, go before Sunday night, um, we'll start taking notify, the Sunday the night by email, notify the City Council by email, yeah. first thing Monday morning that we've gone. gone, there is no need to apply for a warrant. Uh, if they do, that's their fault, but you are not then adding to, to the costs. That's I was saying, you don't need to, they don't need to apply for a warrant. The, the, What's that, that Mark was saying? A court bailiff will not. Because it's a fourth witness. That's what that guy just said. Basically. Yeah, that's what Mark said. We need to check well. that, but Corbyn yeah. thinks the same. They need a, yeah. Week, then that's different. But we'll just go and move. Before we move across, which we'll do during the day on Sunday, we need to just check that these plans don't cover that other piece of land, and I don't think they do. No, I don't think they do. Right, we'll go back and have a council of war and a cup of tea. Yeah, right. But you, we've achieved what we wanted yeah, to like achieve. I'm going to go back on the cap like this. I'd run a meeting tonight, don't you? We can't wait for that now. We need a council of war and planning and all manner. No, that's what Mark said. Come on then, let's go and have a council of war. And I suppose you could, you could have argued that, but it's up to the individual judge. Yeah. It would give you grounds for appeal, right. but to be honest, it's just not worth it. It's far easier just to move over there. Yeah, yeah. Um, could we could we actually have a case that if the city council says this land belongs to them, yeah. it actually belongs to the citizens of Birmingham? No, we tried that in that because it belongs to the city council, it belong it's under the the jurisdiction of elected members yeah. of the city council. So any councillor that supports it, that implies that you have a license to occupy. And we tried that and she wasn't gonna have it. He wasn't gonna wash with her. She's saying, well, no, it doesn't give you a license. Yeah, I might be going to Again, it's challengeable, I suppose, but yeah. it's just easier to move. Well, yeah. She wasn't having none of that, though. No, she yeah. was, that wasn't going to wash with that. Yeah. And, and I mean, couldn't they... Well, I suppose that idiot didn't have the sense to see that far ahead, that moving from here doesn't mean that you can't move there. Well, yeah. They probably just thought, well, it's freezing cold and whatever, You'll, you know, everybody will just go home. You know, like they, they did that space. Well, they had like that. They had a map, didn't yeah. they? Yeah. Like the well, they're not talking about the tall space. No, or it's well, just yeah. it's well, this no, and that bit of open space it. here, and it yeah. goes as far as the footpath. Um, and we were quite careful to check where it where it went. I mean, I'm, I'm surprised they didn't do the whole patch because they know us well enough to know that we're likely to do something as arrogant as just move across the a few hundred yards or a hundred yards and move on to the next plot of land. Maybe she actually agrees with him. I well, think yeah, there's an element in there. I certainly got vibes that she was very sympathetic to the to the flight. Mm -hmm. 
Want to gather all the dirty cloths together? Put the bolt, put the lock against it. Go on, take them over and wash them. Put the gate across. So there we heard it, cutting comments there from Councillor Lines. He says that you're anarchist, that you're costing the City Council money that could otherwise be spent on social housing. We have a couple of people here, you know, we walk on heads like clearly no damage or literacy and so we'll be left. The, 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 the usual front of Councillor Lines is that we're building the climate ability and whilst we need those in terms of our elderly residents, we just need to come and do this in social residents. You have been evicted from this site. You're going to be thrown off on Tuesday. What now? We won't be here on Tuesday. We're actually moving to New Tennessee, 50 yards away this afternoon. So there you have it. You heard it here. That at first, they'll be packing up the teacups and moving out tonight. So the City Council might have another eviction case on its hands. Was that about three minutes? Oh, yes. All right. I reckon that's about three minutes. That was good. Great. <laughs> She's going to do it again uh, now. Can I ask you guys? Excuse me, our council officer. Hello there. I won't say Rob because we're a little bit behind our schedule. I hope you're not going to moan at us. No, no, but I can see you We are well on schedule and we will be gone hopefully within an hour. Well, I've just said we'll probably leave a load of rubbish on site. We will come back tomorrow. No, no, we'll come back tomorrow and clean it all up. Never ever spoke our word with the council. In fairness, they've never ever voted with us. Well, when I say yeah, but it's. Well, if you don't get, you don't get it off, Andy, it'll be tomorrow morning. That's fine. I know, know we're just not going to... Yeah, you give me a commitment. I can see you packing yeah. up. That's not a problem. So, I can see you breaking good prayer. That's very good, you think. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Have you got the prayer on? Yes. Yeah, we need to accelerate a little bit. Oh, no. We... No pain needs to come so we don't need to accelerate that quickly. Well, I still need to get the well, that's, This is why I bought the bolts in the trailer. still need to get the pain off. No, we have to share it. I've uh, just spoke to head office and I said, um, well, he's lied to me basically. He told me that he was still working there. Um, and they said, uh, have you got mental health? Oh, no, she asked where the property was and I said cartridge. Um, and she goes, oh, yeah, we know what you're on about. Uh, she goes, but he didn't give us no details about it. Yeah, she just said that the, the property. He said that the property was there for me. Um, she's gone. Well, we'll pass you on to someone else. And I said, I'm not going to get fobbed off again. You're definitely going to give me a call. She goes, regardless of what anybody says, I will give you a call back. So she's going to go and find out if someone else that can do it. I can't believe he's done that. I can't believe he's done that. It's a bit underhanded, isn't it? It is. Tell me to phone him and then. Getting your hopes up like that. You know. You know what I mean.